this Thrive Online video, we're going to talk about some common menu problems and the way that you can fix them in your point of cell. Let's start out looking at our first draft of our Thrive Online menu. Click on the salads. There's a couple things I'd like to change about this salad menu. First of all, I don't have any descriptions. Secondly, I'd like to change the abbreviations and some of the spellings here. And I've got a couple salads that don't belong. They're not really active. Let's go to the POS and see what we can do about that. Okay, I'm going to the configuration of my POS system. And we'll take a look at the salad category. I think this uh, nutty salad was one that I don't want to have available online. So I'll just mark it as not available. I also didn't like how the Caesar with shrimp was abbreviated. The display name field is what shows up for Thrive Online. So we'll just go ahead and edit that. And while we're at it, we'll add a tasty description. When you're creating your online descriptions, don't forget to use detailed, scrumptious sounding words to help make your customers' mouths water. I've got my system set up to automatically update Thrive Online when I save. Okay, I've noticed a few things I don't like on the appetizers. If I click on breadsticks, um, I've got this dipping sauces category, as well as the dipping sauce requirement. That doesn't make any sense. Let's take a look. Okay, here I can see in my appetizers department, I have my appetizers category, and then I have my dipping sauces category. Since the dipping sauces are not an option on all of my appetizers, but I really just meant for my breadsticks um, requirement, I want to go ahead and exclude these from showing up in the appetizers category. So to do that, I'll click on the appetizers, and I'll go to modifiers. This is going to show me any potential modifiers that I don't want to show up as a modifier option. So I'm going to go ahead and select the dipping sauces and move that over. If I click this only allow included modifiers, that means that customers won't be able to edit what comes on this item. They'll only be able to pick um, remove modifiers. Okay, now we can confirm that the breadsticks actually has a requirement for dipping sauce. So for breadsticks, I'll still be picking the dipping sauce, but it won't show up as an option for the rest of my appetizers. Okay, let's walk through that process again, looking at our pizzas, for example. In this case, I'm going to show you how to exclude the size mini from your online ordering and to exclude specific toppings from a pizza. In this case, our vegetarian. Um, we don't want our vegetarians to get offended by seeing any meat toppings, so we'll exclude them all from their options. Let's see how to do that. Okay, in the pizza department, I'm going to click on the department first, and then I'm going to click on size, and click on mini, and I can just say not available online. Now, we'll look at our uh, vegetarian pizza. Again, we're going to go to the modifiers, to choose which modifiers are excluded. So we want to override our category in this case, and we'll just move all of those nasty meats over um, so that our vegetarians don't even have the option to add them to their pizza. So that's pretty much the main changes you'll want to make in your POS. Um, again, for an item or a category, you can change the display name, the description, you can make it not available online. You can set up modifiers um, that are excluded. You can set up your suggestive selling and watch our other video about the details on how to do that. Uh, you can uh, go to the department size and choose uh, that the size is not available online. Two other really quick things would be under tender to select a tender not available if you don't want to allow cash online, for example, only credit cards. And then um, under credit, whether you want to enter the CCV on online orders. 
So there's some quick tips on common changes in your point of sale that you'll want to do to optimize your online ordering menu.